Yes, where it was recognized. Uh, in response to the comments about um, minorities being excluded from the marijuana business, uh, it, it's a fact that fewer than one fifth of cannabis business owners identify as minorities, and only four percent identify as being black. Applicants for cannabis licenses also are limited by numerous laws, regulations, and exorbitant permit application, licensing fees, and costs uh, that can require an upfront investment of $700,000 to get into the business. And uh, on top of that, um, state laws uh, prohibit folks who've been convicted of uh, marijuana charges from being in the marijuana business. And so because uh, racism has been uh, in the soil of America ever since 1619, 400 years ago when the first enslaved Africans were brought to this country, uh, we have been uh, uh, considered uh, less than human, uh, three-fifths human, and then finally when we did get rights we went through a hundred years of uh, American apartheid of um, uh, discrimination, uh, separate but equal. Um, and these, the legacy of racism exists today uh, when it comes to uh, access to capital uh, to get the $700,000 required. We're shut out. And, uh, and my Latino brothers and sisters uh, have been treated uh, similarly uh, throughout their history in this country. And so uh, that's just a fact. There's no need to come to find any statistics. I mean, that's just, I mean, it's obvious uh, that uh, we're shut out of this business. And with that, I will uh, yield back. Gentlemen, yields back. Does anyone else seek recognition on this amendment? In that case, the uh, question occurs on the